Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're playing Dying Light 2, Stay Human, in VR with Vorpex. Let's dive in. Okay, I'm in the game. I've made a profile for the game to work in Vorpex. The only problem is this is a work in progress. There's no 3D. Let me repeat, there's no 3D. Unlike a natural VR game, where you've got 3D depth and everything, there's no 3D. So what are the benefits of playing this game in a VR headset with Orpex with no 3D? Why don't I just play the game on a flat monitor? For one reason, I'm inside the game. Look, I can look down at the ground. I can look up at the sky. I can look at the mountains over there. I can look to my left and there's a cliff over there. I can look behind me. There's my waypoint. I can look down into the uh, gorge below me. I'm playing this game with the uh, PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. So I'm using the controller to move around in the world lock. I can use the uh, thumbstick on the right to turn around. But I'm inside the game itself. And I can look around the game world. I can go to the edge here and I can look over the edge, physically look and then look back up again. So, hello, there's people over there. Off the record, I have not played the game yet. I've been um, experimenting with this area here. I've been trying to get 3D to work. I can't get 3D to work, guys. There's no 3D geometry. There's no Z adaptive. When I have been trying profiles with 3D geometry, my right eye is totally blanked out. There's like a grey film over the right eye. So I'm slowly going through profiles, trying to get 3D to work. Hopefully Ralph, the creator of Orpex, will have a solution. And the reason why this game is so hard to get to work in 3D is because of the engine it's using. It's using a special engine designed for the game. This is an engine that's not been incorporated into Orpex yet. That mountain range over there looks amazing. So another benefit of playing this game in a VR headset of Vorpex, although it's flat, I feel life-sized. I feel like I'm a real person in this world. That car looks real. The uh, mountain over there looks like it's the right distance away. I can tell that's a long drop. That's a really long drop. And I can see my hands when I walk. So if I press my buttons now, look, I can kick. And all my body are the same size that I would expect in real life. So playing the game of Orpex, even though it's flat, I'm still inside the world. And it's life-sized. So I'm going to attempt to play the game now. I've never played the game. I'm going to head over here to the uh, waypoint. Do we jump over here? I need to learn all my controls. Okay. Oh, that's a big germ. Whoop. So I can turn around now, look behind me, look down at the gorge. That sunset looks amazing. Since I've been using the PlayStation 5 controller, guys, I can't get my Xbox controller to work with this game. So I don't know if this will work with the Xbox controller. I've been on the Steam forums and people are saying that the Xbox controller does work with the game. That's something you're going to have to try yourself. Now, you will notice that if you turn right, it's very sensitive. I've tried turning down the sensitivity in Vorpex and in the game, if you look at the game menu now, my sensitivity is on zero and it's still very sensitive when I use the uh, thumbstick to move. Again, that's something you're going to have to um, deal with and get used to. But if you've got Vorpex and you've got the game and you fancy playing the game, being totally 100% immersed in the game world, although it's flat, I can look up at the trees. Look, look at this. So we need to be heading that way up to the rocks. So I made a special profile for this to get it to work. Yeah. 
getting early. Although this is flat as well, super sharp, super clear, looks amazing. Can I make this? Ooh. Okay, we made it. Shit, man, you're still strong. Every now and then, you might see the camera turn sharply to the left and right. I'm going to try not to do that. I need to um, remember to, with the dual sense controller, to move very slightly. Okay, where are we going? Up this way. Hello, mate. So, I feel like I'm stood in front of a real rock face. I'm about to climb it, I think. And I can do this. I can look up. And it looks really, really high. Even though it's flat, it still looks really high because I'm actually inside the game. I'm not playing this game on a giant screen. I'm not playing the game on a monitor screen. I'm inside the game. Look, I can look behind me. The wall's behind me. I'm actually here. Those are my feet. That's my shadow. Okay, can we? How do we? Try to get up here. Okay, I've got it. We need to go across here and then jump across, don't we? Hello, mate. I'm coming. Jump. Ooh. Thank you. Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long, but don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Okay, you can't move your head in the cutscenes. You'll see. It's just like a static camera. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, yeah, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. Nobody there had heard of her. <laughs> so she must have gone to Gary. In that case, I'll head north. Now first head east, then think about going north. Why? Well, haven't you heard? Bridge over the Scraw is gone, swept away by that flood this spring. You gotta cross the old fjord. Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Ooh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here too. Okay, so there's a bit of a problem with the key mapping with the PlayStation 5 controller, Vorpex and the game. I don't know if this is the same case with the Xbox controller. There is a workaround though. I'm going to show that workaround right now. So there's an option in the game to sense the world around you. If you go to the game settings on the gamepad, you hold down the right thumbstick to sense the world. Now when you try this, it will not work, look. So you press down the thumbstick, it's not working. I don't know why it's not working, but there is a workaround. Go to your options menu. Go to controls. Go to key bindings. Go to action. Find Survivor Sense and remap this key. I've set it to my L key for now. Do not use any of the default keys that are used in the game when you play the game with the mouse and keyboard. So do not use keys like W, A, S or D or Spacebar. Choose a key that's not going to be used in the game. If I press the L key now on my keyboard, you'll see the, uh, the Sense mechanic. There we go. Now we're going to bring up the Vorpex menu and we're going to change the thumbstick key, so that when I press thumbstick down, it activates the L key instead. So here's my Vorpex menu look. Import settings, go to change gamepad mapping. Go to right stick. I've already selected the key, so click on there and then select the key that you're going to use, which is L. Click on OK and save. So now, when I press down the right thumbstick, I get the uh, sense command. There we go, it's working. Like I said, it might be working with the Xbox controller. I can't test it because my Xbox controller is not working at the moment. Also, you have to remember that the uh, right thumbstick 
is your edge peak. If I click it down once, I zoom right out of the game and that allows me to see all the menu. I can see my quests now and I press it again to go back into the game. So just remember to hold it down for that sensibility. Easy peasy. Okay, let's go and grab some honey. Some over here. And they try to find some if more. You my patience, friend. You're doing really well. And there's some up here. There we go. Yeah, this will do. Job done. You remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh yeah, the one that had that saying. Uh, remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living. Okay, so I use an edge peak, I've just zoomed out of the game. Now we need to go into the crafting menu. Man, what's the hold up? You wouldn't be this indecisive about a viral. I've just done the same process to rebind my down key for the menu crafting menu so now we'll be able to craft some items okay come on we're almost there This is it. Come on. Wow. <laughs> Somebody had a nice crib. Damn it. Locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take okay. anything we could use. Yeah, sure. Scanning. Okay, can we crouch on here? Really dark in here. If I get attacked now, I'm going to freak out, guys. This is quite realistic. What's that noise? There's flies somewhere. I can hear flies. Okay, so the door's locked. Yeah, nothing in here. Got seen, I can't move. Rats. Everything all right? Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know our saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. I need a torch. In 
that's what they called art? That's something I would draw. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Five years later. Is that someone outside? Am I seeing things? I thought I saw a zombie looking in. Okay, so there's a green bag over here. There's something over here, look. At the moment, this plays very similar to um, Dead Island. Okay, got some rice. Grab the resin. Search that. Grab all the uh, first aid. Empty. Empty. Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Sounds familiar. Hide area? Why do I need to hide? Nada. Zip. Oh! That's not good. Goodbye. That's heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. Well, they got a really nice view. Look at this view. Stunning. Can't 
can I climb up there? Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. Nice. I've just found it. By the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. What, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that f down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. And where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly they're knocking on our doors. All right, but you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? Yep. That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. Okay. I'll just go straight to the city. It's not that simple. Villador was supposed to be one of the zones. Cities that were walled off to keep out the plague. The plan f***ed up. But this city and its walls survived. But this guy knows a way in. Get in touch with him and he'll tell you everything. Okay. Head towards the tower. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? I You're paid an you. old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that. Cheers. And that Waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, 
My time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. See you later, mate. And remember, 140.200 megahertz. At dawn, the guy's waiting for you. Okay. Okay, let's head down here. Can we... Can we jump off here? Yep. Okay, here we go into the wild. Okay, we need to head down this way. There's a lake and there's a house down there. Do we jump in the water? Let's go. We. <sighs> nice. Is that a zombie? We have zombies. Okay, I've got a bat. We have a bat. There we go. Hello, Mr. Z. Uh, but See, they look like real zombies now. They've got full size and everything. Any more? Oh crap. So we can kick him. Swing away. I can block. And we've got stamina. Let's grab all the loot. Oh, hello. Say hello to my little friend. This looks so stunning. We're going to check out this house first. It's dark. I need a torch. There we go. Okay, where are we going? Over here? Nice, I have a new hammer now. Let's go this way. I can see you. Hmm? 
That's quite deep. Hello there. The game's running super smooth as well. Okay, anything in the water? <sighs> Nothing down here. Okay, we need to get onto this bridge. Made it. Okay, I'm going to search the bridge first. We search around here. Crap, look at that. Try not to wake the horde. Can we blow them up? I don't have a gun though. in the horde. That was nice. Achievement unlocked. Dead horde. I guess we're climbing here. <coughs> this game's got some stunning vistas. That's like a dam. I'm losing stamina, just um, 
climbing. Okay, made it. line ho oh. I would say this is more immersive than playing on a flat monitor I can't wait to get 3d working in the game this looks very ominous Okay, more zombies. Kick him off the end. Kick him off, he's gone. Bye. And it's getting dark. Look at that vista guys, amazing. Is this a Tomb Raider game? <laughs> Ooh, made it. We have skills. Okay. High jump. dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. It won't get any better than this. Okay, this looks creepy as hell, guys. My brain thinks this is real. It's like a real house I'm walking into. What is that? Is he on my side? That's scary as hell. I've got chills and goosebumps. Okay. Not good. Where's he gone? Okay, we mother. Come here. Die, you scum. Oh, 
That was nice. Is he dead? Die already anymore? Stay down. Crap. Come here. I don't like him. Got to you, swine. That was close. That was scary, guys. Okay, I'm going to find somewhere to sleep. The broadcast station should be here somewhere. I can see footprints. Is this a safe house? Someone moved them. Not long. Okay, let's give it a try. This is it. The broadcast station. I gotta start the generator. Oh, it's dead. I need to connect it to power. Nice. We have light. Finally. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure it's my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Safe zone. Nice. Bye.